I got going on, but this new dance seems too much for me, bro. Hold on, man. This, this, what do y'all think about Bobby Smurda's new dance? Let me, let me know, man. Know me, I do no flagging, dog. Been snapping, dog. And on Zeta to the feet up, I be zigzagging, dog. Look, man, look, I'm not hating on Bobby Schmurder. I got love for Bobby Schmurder. Um, I like the fact that he could dance and have a good time. But my nigga, like, I don't know what to say, bro. This, this ticket, shout out to All Urban Central for this receipt right here, man. I, I don't know what y'all do or what y'all got going on, but this new dance seems too much for me, bro. Hold on, man. This, this, what do y'all think about Bobby Schmurder's new dance? Let me, let me know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey. I don't know. I'm a fat. I'm a fast forward a little bit, bro. This, this. Shout out to Bobby, man. A lot of people got a lot of things to say, man. A lot is going on. My thing is to Bobby Schmurder. I think he got some lit music coming for us. You know what I mean? We could do jokes about the dance and all that. I ain't too serious about it. I'm gonna stay tuned, but I'm paying attention though, and I will critique him if I see he's going towards that 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 weird type of wave. You know what I mean? I see somebody wrote a comment. Bobby done learned some new things locked up. I ain't gonna go there, bro. I'm gonna leave that one alone. But it's a lot of crazy situations. And on top of Bobby Schmurder. I also wanted to talk about WAC 106.9, man. Look, man, I feel like, like I said before, man, if Alpo out here doing what he's doing, then people like WAC 100 could speak about what he want to talk about. He can use the situation as an educational purpose situation. You just never know if it's some clown dudes out here. Let them see what a snitch got to go through. Let them see what the mindset of a rat is. It don't mean your kid's going to be a rat because some people might think it's cool to play the Mickey Mouse games with everybody else. So I didn't see no problem with WAC 100 doing it when we got a lot of rats out here that y'all do nothing to. Y'all don't go find these rats. Y'all don't go make it uncomfortable for them. Y'all don't do any of the, the X and Ys and Z. So I feel like, shout out to WAC 100, People don't like me saying that, but I stand on it. All y'all act like rah-rah soldiers and y'all gonna do this and that, but y'all selective motherfuckers. Y'all pick and choose. So because y'all pick and choose, you are not gonna get me to get out of my element to start now, you know, calling out the charades, man. Look, DJ Academics can get me pissed off at times, but he is a journalist whether you like it or not. And 6 9 is his golden goose ticket that lays the golden eggs. It is what it is. And WAC 100 got wealth in his rights, even if it's staged or not, to conduct the interview like that because we would look at him weird if he didn't, bro. Everything else he says. So I, I don't get some of y'all, bro. It is what it is. And on another new side note, I did a separate video, but I want to say it again, man. Rest in peace to Gonzo. You know what I mean? Gonzo lost his life today, you know what I mean? Uh, he went to the bowling alley where they got some of his best chickens, and that's a bowling alley in Seattle. You know, he was doing recording sessions as well. He had projects he's doing up there, and I guess he got in an altercation with an individual who proceeded to follow Gonzo outside of the bowling alley, and he shot him over three times. I don't know how many shots was fired, but Gonzo got hit in the chest three times. Gonzo ran across to a Shell's gas station, and he collapsed. And later on that night, you know what I mean? He didn't survive throughout the day. Yeah, so rest in peace to Gonzo. And one of the situations that I wanted to show y'all why y'all gotta love everybody. You gotta love every moment and minute of this because I'm looking at a message that when I was when I was chopping it up with Gonzo, you know what I mean? It is one that kind of took me away. Um, I'm gonna show you guys right quick. I was supposed to do an interview with Gonzo on his Bosco 100 fight. I guess he seen me doing relentless videos saying I got love for Bosco. You know, 2017 when I linked up with Bosco. But right here, let me show y'all some of the messages. I don't know if y'all can hear. Let me see it. Hold on. Yeah, I got my man Gonzo right here. He was a real one, man. All you have to do is hit him up. 
You know what I mean? I got several, I was one of the first people to know about the boxing match with him and, you know, Bosco 100. He gave me this thumbnail pic to use. Shout out, let me click a like, man. It's a little bit too late. Look, he sent a boxing emoji. I feel bad, man. If you ask me, and it's sad. Look, look how late I'm doing it. Y'all can criticize me if you want to, but I'm victim to sometimes not paying attention to what I got to. And sometimes our, 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 our work plate becomes so heavy loaded, we forget some of the things that are important. And I, I do feel bad, bro. I was really... He gave me all the time frame that I needed to give him this interview. And I'm gonna be honest, I kept thinking because he's a cool dude, he's relatable. I can get that interview later on. And, la and later on went to almost six months, no interview. You know what I mean? And he is no longer here. Got a knock on wood. Um, rest in peace to him and salute to his family and blessings to everybody in that journey. Now, I also wanted to discuss something that's going on in hip hop, man. 42 Doug. 42 Doug was in a situation where, and I don't know if I'm allowed to show the video, so I'm not. I guess he was kissing his son on the neck, education. He does some weird tongue stuff, and uh, it, it just look wild, my nigga. Like, I did a video about it. Y'all go to the playlist and check it out. Um, It's a wild situation, man. 42 Doug, I don't know what you got going on, gang, but things looking spooky with that video, bro. Take it down. It's a little too late. It's trending all around the world. He licks the sun on the neck. Even the sun was uncomfortable. Like, uh, like, what the fuck was that, bro? I'm going to just leave it at that. I understand if you kiss your son on the head or whatever. It's endearment, but that part ain't endearment to me, bro. I don't want to go too deep on that other than saying, my nigga, that shit was wild, gang. What you were doing in that picture is, 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 is no excuse, bro. It's just weird, bro. Like, I got a, a great relationship with my kids, and I don't remember doing that, bro. Like I, know, like, I didn't kiss my son on the forehead before, but that's about it. You know, not the forehead, you know, like on the top of the head of the hair, you go, it'll be all right. And that's when they're babies, bro. When they reach a certain age, hell, no, nah, I don't even do all that extra shit anyways to keep it real, which I'm not because I'm insecure. It's just at a certain age, bro, let, let go of some of these ways with your child, my nigga. It is, and y'all entitled to do what y'all want to do, but I, I challenge all of y'all to go watch that video once again. And I, it's behooves y'all to tell me if I'm wild or not, bro. That shit just look wild, man. Look, I'm going to get off that. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off that all the way. But, um, yeah, man, Um, I wanted to also talk about the Dirk situation. Apparently, Dirk getting himself together. They came back from the Rolling Loud situation. I'm hearing a rumor through the grapevine that they're going to be thinking of moving away from the Atlanta situation. I think it's smart to move away, bro. Like, why would you go live back? And it, it don't mean you scary, bro. Dudes already got the location. Folks in them is, you know, shots being fired. You got your girl over there. What if your kids is visiting and they over there, bro? Yeah, it's time for Dirk to relocate and move. It don't mean he's soft or nothing like that. And if you personally ask me, it's too many backdoor situations going on. Too many disgruntled employees and disloyal folks out here. So I think it's smart to move swiftly out here. You know what I mean? Connect the dots and follow the breadcrumbs. See who's snaking you dudes out here, bro. Don't just be a plain victim. This is all I'm saying to y'all. Don't be a plain victim out here, bro. Be on your P's and Q's daily and relentlessly and you'll be all right, gang. Now, fast forward to say this. Economically, it's smart to live in Atlanta if you Dirk and the OTF family. But physically, bro, the toll you got to take, the guys you losing out here, my nigga, and... Folks in them see every single move you do. I thought the rules of this game was to move in silence. You know what I mean? To remain in silence so you can keep away from the violence. Like, what happened to all that? Sticking to the codes and sticking to the routine. Dudes got over their body and over themselves and started doing fumbling on the plate. Throw a flag on the plate, bruh. Dudes is tripped out and bugged out. You gotta know what it is out here, and I don't gotta tell them that. I'm pretty sure all of them know how real the streets are, but what's more spooky about the streets is the cheat codes. The cheat codes are the rats, the, the snakes, the, um, the you know, the disloyal people in the world, bro. That, that's the cheat code, and they done threw a whole lot of cheat code in the game. Niggas can't even play the game the right way no more, so only the family. You lost people like Vaughn and them. I don't wanna go all the way just D thing. You can keep naming a whole lot, bro. And it was other members who died that day. Vaughn died too, but they keep talking about Vaughn only, but I get it. You know, he's one of the faces, so 
uh, it's an unfortunate situation, bro. Like, I only can tell y'all, man, leave, leave the situation and get your head right. I don't know why you niggas don't move to Idaho, um, Idaho or something like that. If, if I have money like you dudes do, I would move somewhere where who cares if there's, you know, people who don't like me or not. But if ain't nobody going to do nothing towards my safety, then that's the place I need to be at. I don't, I don't get this. Celebrities go into the in crowd where they could get hurt. And then we're supposed to feel sorry for them, even though we don't ask for it. It's like y'all doing a whole lot. Be smart. Get yourself out the situation and you will truly be all right. I mean, at least that's how I see it. We going to be all right. Look, hit that like button. Hit that notification bell come rock out with the most winning this team out here man i smoke hip-hop live salute gang love your family love your kids and stay blessed we do no flagging dog been snapping dog and on zeta to the feeder i be zigzagging dog